Hi, I'm Lisa Gordon, and I'm a senior price reporter at Fast Markets, and today I'm going to be talking about the spread between bushling and shredded scrap. Why their movement up or down mirrors each other at times, why they do their own things at other times, what it means when they start selling for the same price, and why bushling will always remain the higher price scrap. Bushling is the most expensive grade of scrap because of its yield. When you melt it, you keep 98% and lose only 2%. It's generated by manufacturing and is not price sensitive. It is generally purchased to be melted by SBQ and hot roll coil mills. On the other hand, shredded scrap has a 92% yield when melted. It is used by nearly every mill and this grade is price sensitive. Here on the chart, you can see how Bush overreaches shred on up markets. When you look at the chart, it's evident that each time the market rebounds and the prices shoot up, the bushling becomes much more expensive than shred. Look at July 2018. That's partially because the spike up brings favorable prices, which draws out more shred, while no amount of money can draw out a stash of bushling, which comes from manufacturing. When the spread widens and it has been over $60, that means there's not enough bush to feed everyone. Then bushling starts to drop and it drags shred down with it, as you can see in the chart. The spread between bushling and shred should be about $25 a ton, and when the market starts to fall, the lower shredded scrap price chokes off the flow, or bushling falls, which forces the market to keep bushling at a premium. When bushling and shred become the same price, that means there's a shortage of shred. When they're the same price, let's say they're both $300 a ton, then shred is actually $20 or more, because when you melt it down, shred would be $326 on a yield basis, and bushling would be $306 on a yield basis. Looking at 2017 and 2018 in general, illustrate how bushling skyrockets, shred is slowly lowered to the point that the flow dries up, they become similar price, and then bushling rises above shred again. End result is while the two move up and down together, sometimes they don't, but eventually the hierarchy returns and bushling sells for more.